What's going on everybody? Today I have another video very similar to my video a couple days ago, but I think it's even more interesting uh, in terms of the future of the game. And so we're going to be talking about the changes that can even be made before and after the global announcements for some characters. And before we get into that, I just want to mention about 95% of you are not subscribed to the channel. I am trying to push that 1k and if you want to help out, I'd love it if you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That being said, let's talk about the frig changes from the beta global to the actual global version. So if we just check in the weapons here while we're doing some dailies, we can check through the warehouse here and scroll down into Frig here. And we can see that she actually has gotten a few changes from the beta version. So if you remember, when we checked out Frig, when she was in the game in terms of the warehouse, uh, not quite when the banner was released, we said that the frost domain the domain of frost here would give you 25 percent shatter but not 15 percent frost attack because that was removed from the chinese to global version on top of that the sixth starred version of frig would only increase the frost attack by i believe it was 12 percent but now it is back up to 25 percent so crazy crazy change from the initial uh realization of frig and this absolutely just gives her an insane buff uh for her party viability now one thing to note is that her skill her dodge attack uh still has the same multiplier from what i understand actually it might even be a little bit less from what it was uh the multi-slash here the aoe i think it was 157 percent if i think I think that was what it was and then i was 143 percent let me know in the comments down below if i'm wrong about that i think i'm right though um but the important thing to note is that this is the key skill for frig um the ice residence as well as the domain of frost and that is a massive buff to frig because what she is is she's an offensive support where you're going to use her and then really buff up your other team members specifically subasa and meryl or meryl plus another character really you want meryl 100 and then subasa can work really well or you can go with another character but you need at least one other ice character to make sure you get that ice resonance and keep in mind that this is a change from when she was already in the game and showed in the warehouse from that to her banner and honestly i've not seen too many people talk about this um maybe i'm late to the game maybe you know someone's already made a video on this but i think it's more important to talk about what this means for the future of the game uh just like i made a video on how we should treat chinese version different from the global version and anything can happen we do not know the game is tends to be more balanced from the chinese version to the global version well guess what the changes can be made from the global beta version to the global version too. As we already mentioned, uh, nothing is completely set in stone when they release these characters for the beta. But I want to just reaffirm this point from the changes that we got to Frig. And I really, really heavily encourage people to just make decisions based on how they would work with your characters, make decisions based on how you like the character, make decisions based on how they will fit in your team comp, rather than their actual stats uh, and what they will offer completely within the kit, right? This is a huge, huge thing to note because people still judge these characters uh, purely based on what information we release. And I always say in every one of my videos that this is a little bit of speculation because we do not know 100% what they're going to be like when they actually release. And this is a perfect example of that. So super, super important that we go ahead and recognize this um, as a community and really talk about what you should be doing in terms of saving summons, what you should be doing in terms of summoning your characters. Because Claudia has been announced, and wow, that was a loud noise. <laughs> uh, but Claudia has been announced as the new banner, and I'll probably make a video on this either later today or tomorrow, talking about my opinions on Claudia and whether or not you should summon for her. Keep in mind, however, Claudia, she is only the information that we've received not necessarily uh, uh, what she'll actually be when the global version of her releases. So that's super important to note. And I really wanted to make this video before I made any sort of video on Claudia or before a bunch of creators make videos on Claudia. And then everyone's going to go and save their summons. Everyone's going to go ahead and uh, maybe not summon for her. 
you have no idea what they're going to do with Claudia. You have absolutely zero idea. None of us do. And the perfect example of this is that frig. Keep in mind that we're not talking about some very small changes. We're not talking about like, oh, well, they buffed up the multiplier by 10% or they, they nerfed the multiplier by 10% or maybe they removed a couple percent of AOE damage. No, they completely changed her skill to give you AOE frost increased attack by 15%. That is absolutely game changing for the ice comps. This is important to note because these are not small changes. This is not like, oh, this is the same character and what made her good. Um, this is literally changing the entire idea and her identity within a comp uh, in terms of how viable she is. She still does the same thing and you're still gonna wanna play her very similar to how she was before, but you're going to change her complete viability and her strength as a group buffing character with this change. So again, Keep in mind that none of the things that we're talking about in terms of speculation for the future characters um, or any sort of global beta version of these characters, these can absolutely be 100% different when the actual character comes with the banner. So really wanted to get that point across and I cannot stress it enough. Uh, I think it's really important to keep this into consideration. And then when you're saving for these summons, like. We see Cobalt B and she got nerfed a bunch. Who knows if she's gonna stay that nerfed amount? Who knows if they're gonna buff her multipliers again when global version comes? Uh, who knows what's gonna happen with her? Just purely decide in a vacuum for your own team. What characters have you gotten? What advancements have you gotten? What uh, characters do you currently have? What characters do you have currently have upgraded? What are you looking to do? Are you interested in having this certain team for fun? Are you interested in this specific character? Can you build a team around them? You should really be looking within your own personal opinion and your own account for your own advice. You, yes, I think a lot of content creators out there, including myself, have um, some value to offer in terms of what they think are going to be good for these characters and uh, whether or not or what they are offering in terms of summoning for this character, that is all valuable. But at the end of the day, we don't know what your account looks like. We don't know um, what you're interested in and we don't know what your goal is with these characters. And so you, it's up to you all to take what we are doing, which is basically speculation on the theoretical thing that could not be um, the same when it releases, and then giving you our best advice. This could be completely different. And it's important that we realize that before we make any judgments and really go hard on some sort of specific um, reason in order for you to summon this character. So let me know what you think down below. Did you know that Frigg's changes were you know, changed on global or uh, were you surprised by this video? I found this out about a day or so after Frigg uh, came out um, and then I didn't realize the repercussions of this because I didn't realize, I knew she was changed. I didn't actually know the gravity of how much she was changed. And so I think it's important for everyone to know let me know if this is a good thing and you enjoy this. You think that Frigg has uh, gotten a really nice buff and or if it's too much, maybe. I'm not sure. I think it's actually quite fair for Frigg to have this. I'm actually really happy that she does. So not worried about it at all. I think it's really cool. I just wanted to let everyone know that your speculation may just be speculation. <laughs> it may not be the actual truth. Important for everyone to know. Let me know if you enjoyed by hitting that subscribe button. Once again, I'm trying to get one to 1K um, and I'm really enjoying the game. So I'll expect more daily content for me. Again, let me know what you think about the future of global version and uh, what we should do as content creators. If you actually prefer uh, to kind of just wait to global version or if you enjoy watching the videos out there, I'm just curious on what you all think. That being said, hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you for the next video.